What's up guys, Undead Gaming here broadcast to you from my man cave and today we got some Gears 3 gameplays actually my uh, first commentary on Gears 3 I think. Yeah it is the well, first time real commentary not the live ones but so this is a pretty good game I have but this I'm pretty much trying to give my like, first impressions kind of thing on this. Open my computer. I think my computer is frozen to be honest because it's not showing anything. So, oh wow, it, my editing software sucks. And I really need to get some better software because it's, it's just so slow on my computer and I have to stop and let it pause. Alright, I think I got to play. So, my first touch of this game is it's so much better than um, Gears 1 and 2 simply because it's um, dedicated servers. Now, this is my first and only death, so that's my only death in the whole game, so yeah, it was a pretty good game, but, because in Gears 2, like, my ratio is like 0.6, I think, which is terrible, because I had really bad connection, and I never pulled host, so I just, like, always get dominated, but in Gears 3, it's like 1.1 right now, but, and it's getting, um, it's still getting higher and stuff, so it'll probably be around, like, 1.5, 1.6, Finally get used to the game, so that's so I like this game a lot better. Well, well if you, well, if Gears of War has to be like a, if, like if you've never been good at Gears of War in the past and that's why you don't like it, you might want to try this game because it's a, a lot easier and it's more fair because the dedicated servers and everything, and everything. Now I've really got connection. Yeah, really helps me look at this. We both down each other, and I, at this point, I was just mashing B as hard, I mean, mashing A as hard as I can to get back up. And we both at the same time, but I like that. Yeah, I say, wow. Um, ooh, I don't remember. I was gonna say something, I forget. This so, here's what we get. Well, here's the one in general, I don't know. Like, I was just, I wish I was recording like the other day or the other night. But it's so good. Like I got like a grenade quad. And it was really cool because there's two of them on the ball. I really wanted the grenade and I had the hell. I got I got a nice little quad with that. And if I was recording, we'll probably send to like the top 10 series because that was pretty cool. I was like, it was really unexpected of me to get that. But yeah, so, Gears of War 3, so the multiplayer side of it is really solid. Unlike um, the other two, the first two games where it's just like, it was really laggy and had host advantages and all other problems. Like this game, it like, takes care of it all. But the only thing I can have about it is that. Like, I'm not complaining about the sawed off, I'm complaining about like how people use it. Like people just camp with the sawed off. That's um extremely annoying to really here. But see this guy's charging up. But um when people camp with the sawed off, it really doesn't matter. Like if you're gonna run from the guy has a sawed off, you're probably gonna lose because you're just gonna sit there and camp. And he's just gonna walk away and come to him and go to him with the Nash, I think you gotta kill him. And he just blind fires it because it has a like, yeah, you know, like, you know, And it just get obliterated, which is really annoying. And I do not like that. So that's, I think like, I, I, I'm not sure if it tells you something like that. That's the thing, but probably like, over half of this. Which, I don't like it. Like, but, so, the new game mode of like, team deathmatch is really good. And I like how it has two rounds, so you can't like win by a fluke. You can say if someone on your team or someone on the other team picks up a boom shot and gets a quad with it, and that's like, and that's like all they needed was to win. Like the only thing that um let them win was that one lucky quad there. But if it wasn't for that, we're been really close. And it goes to the second round. It, and you actually have to beat them, you're probably not gonna get that lucky quad I'll again. Take that. So that's why I like that, because you can't like win a fluke. 
Because like if one team gets like all the power weapons the first match, it completely dominates. The other team can still on come back. Because most of the time the, the team that team gets like completely dominated in the first match and the, in the second match they do pretty well. And so well now I like to run right here. You don't have to pick up the point door, but I did. This sort of shits and giggles. But if you wanna go around where the torque ball is and run where the one shot is and try to sneak up behind these guys, you can get like Pretty much blind them with the flame. So that's a well route I like to use on this map. It's worked a bunch of times for me. I actually think this. I don't. I thought that was like a one there, not a nine. When they're spawning, I was like, this game's ending quickly. So I do bring up pretty good tails, but the multiplayer maps are really solid and everything. I haven't got a chance to pick up like. I think I have got to use every weapon because of the beta, but not in the full game. I don't think I've got one shot on the altar and every weapon is So... Yeah, but, So you can expect a lot more Gears of War 3 gameplay from me, but I'm not just gonna be posting only Gears of War 3. I'll still be posting Black Ops and Reach and everything. I'm trying to be like a one man on Battle Cruiser. But it's not that easy. But, I was watching that, I thought it was... Awesome, cool kill there, but it wasn't. See, this is why I really nice. love the flank door because like, not only does it do a very good amount of damage, it like reminds the person that can do the enemies and just jump a giant wall of flame coming towards them. They can't really do much about it except for one run away. And it seems like in this game, or pretty much in any Gears of War game, people just want to charge up towards you. So, yeah. It, one other thing that's found really weird is like people that just go the whole game charging people at retro lancers and that's all they do. I mean, it's pretty easy to kill sometimes, but the chainsaw and retro lancer some will have like commander lunge. But if you get like a three feet of them or, or when you um have a chainsaw out or you're um uh, charging with the bayonet, they'll like teleport you right to them. Just pretty annoying. That's that and the saw are the only bad things I can say about this game. But that's pretty much it guys. Um if you like this gameplay game, please give it a thumbs up. If you wanna see more of my gameplays, please subscribe. That's it guys, peace.